welcome to the online library project. My name is Kristina Cherny and I am a teacher at Public Institution Theoretical IC Moniz for Gibu, Kishinev. Today, we shall focus on Unit 5, Lesson 3, Cyber Smart. At this lesson, we are going to find out information about the person who launched and designed Facebook and identify how cyber you are. Earl Wilson states that success is simply a matter of luck. Ask any failure. Do you think that people who have become successful have reached success due to luck? Do you know any successful people that have not worked at all? Now look at this photograph. Do you know who this person is? If you answered Mark Zuckerberg, then you have definitely guessed. Mark Zuckerberg is considered to be among the most successful people in the world. Do you know what his top 5 characteristics are? According to IBM Watson Personality Insights, the top 5 characteristics of Mark Zuckerberg personality are intellect, emotionality, immoderation, melancholy, and gregariousness. In this picture, according to the same survey, you can see some other characteristics that Mark Zuckerberg possesses. If you were to look at these characteristics, which do you think are the most underdeveloped ones? Why do you think Mark Zuckerberg fails at some characteristics and excels at others? Taking every characteristic into account, we can conclude that to become successful, a person needs a lot of qualities and every one of us must fight our vices and faults in order to reach a level of success. Now we are going to discover Mark Zuckerberg's recipe to a successful life and career. Here are some words that will have to be used to fill in the gaps from the text on page 103, exercise 1 from your class book. You have the following words Microsoft, Programmer, Computer, Designed, Network, The Creator, Site, Technology, Connect, Invention. Now look at this text and fill it with the correct words. Mark Elliott Zuckerberg was born on May the 14th, 1984. He is the creator of the social media site Facebook. He was a star student at school, winning prizes in astronomy, maths and physics. He studied psychology and computer science at Harvard University, which is where he created Facebook. His invention led to his becoming Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2010. Zuckerberg did well in everything he did in his youth. He was captain of the school fencing team, spoke many languages and was a highly skilled computer programmer. While other kids played computer games, he designed them. He created his first network while in high school. He also built a media player, which attracted the interest of Microsoft. Zuckerberg started at Harvard in September 2002. In his first year, he created FaceMesh, a Facebook predecessor that let students select the college's best-looking people from a selection of photos. He launched Facebook from his Harvard room in February 2004. It was the start of a roller coaster ride that would connect half a billion people worldwide and make him the world's youngest billionaire. Mark Zuckerberg is now one of the most influential people on the planet. He has dined with the President of the USA and regularly attends global economic summits and technology forums. He stated, The thing I really care about is the mission making the world open. In 2010, Zuckerberg signed a promise called the Giving Pledge, in which he promised to donate at least half of his life worth to charity. Now let us work a little bit with the vocabulary. Here we have some word combinations and we have to combine them by analogy. Win a prize, win a match, win a race. 
look at the exercise and complete it. Now, if you answered to attend summits, then you are correct. We also use to do well, to donate wealth, to win a prize, to attract interest, to launch a project, to sign a promise, to design a game. Now we are going to work with the text a little. Provide the context for the following words. I'm going to lead you into the answers with some questions. Number one. Why was Mark Zuckerberg considered a star student? Number two. Whose attention did he attract when he built a media player? Number three. What did he study at Harvard University? When and where from did he launch Facebook? When was Mark Zuckerberg named the person of the year by Time magazine? How has February 2004 changed Mark Zuckerberg's life? Number seven. Why do you think inventing Facebook is like a roller coaster ride. Number eight. Can you guess who was the president that Mark Zuckerberg dined with? Number nine. Why is 2010 an important year that has eventually changed the lives of many vulnerable people? Number ten. What is Mark Zuckerberg's mission? Now let us find how cyber smart you are. Complete the questionnaire with answers connected to cyber world that is on page 102, exercise number 2 from your class book. Now let us see if you do not overdo with using the cyber world. Take this questionnaire and tick the appropriate column. This exercise is on page 104 in your class book. Say yes or no. Do you often find that you stay online longer than you intended? Do you neglect household chores to spend more time online? Do you prefer the excitement of the internet to meetings with your friend? Do you often form new relationships with fellow online users? Do others in your life often complain to you about the amount of time you spend online? Do your grades or schoolwork often suffer because of the amount of time you spend online? Do you often check your email before something else that you need to do? Do you often try to cut down the amount of time you spend online and fail? Does your study performance or productivity suffer because of the internet? Do you try to hide how long you've been online? And now let us see what your results might be. If you have answered yes to more than three of these questions, perhaps you have already developed a bit of a computer addiction. If you overuse the net, what advice would you give yourself? Do you think a timetable or schedule would work for you? Do you know anyone who overuses the Internet? What advice would you give to that person? Have some time and think on this task. Now, going back to the successful story that Mark Zuckerberg has shared with the world, can you order the points in this diagram according to your own priorities? that would help you in becoming more successful. You have, such, you have such clues as persistence, desire to learn, willingness to change, inspiration, commitment to take action. What would you add? And now it is reflection time. Imagine yourself in the future. 
you have become a very successful person. You have it all that you once desired as a teen. Create your ideal scenario of a film, name it, and decide who would star in it. Advertise it. Begin with the end in mind. Write in the form of a letter to a friend from the future how you would like to live your life under ideal circumstances. Define what it is that you really, really want. Your, ideals, your ideal scenario should be written in present tense. The more details, the better it is. The place. Picture yourself in the future. Where are you? Maybe you have many locations in some busy malls or in your new dream home. On the beach, describe it. In which way has the quality of your life improved? More time, more money? What are you doing with money? Where are you traveling to? What exactly makes you feel happy? Good luck!